Join us as we dive deep into collection storage and bring to light amazing and quirky pieces of Stearns County history, each with a unique story to tell. Hi, Eric. Hello. So I have a question, and that question is, why clowns? That's a fair question. Um, I'm not sure that I can give you a satisfactory answer to that question, but we can try. So, you know, clowns, some people love them, and, well, some people don't, I guess. But at, the other day, going through our collections, which we've been doing for this series, we realized that we have a number of collections in their collection from private individuals, or uh, collections that people have collected over their lives and then donated to the museum at a certain point. This being one of them. So this is just a teeny, teeny part of a very large clown collection that was collected over the years by a woman named Mary Neville. And uh, we thought that we would just kind of glean a couple of the highlights from the collection to share with you. Clowns. Clowns have been with us for a long time. They've taken many different forms throughout history and have roots dating back to classical Greek theater. The clown that most Americans are familiar with, the circus clown, is based on the white or sad clown and the red or happy clown traditions. The circus clown began in 19th century England as a device to entertain spectators between acts in Philip Ostley's equestrian shows, which featured tricks and skits and which is considered the beginning of the modern circus. A clown working in the 1870s for Circus Renz in Vienna named Tom Belling has been credited for developing the blueprint of the modern circus clown. Taking the white or sad clown, he added a red nose, white makeup, baggy clothes, and oversized shoes. He based this look on the down and his luck hobo of the 19th century. This idea of the hobo character was expanded in the U.S. during the early 20th century. The tramp, or hobo, was further popularized during the Depression years of the 1930s by performers such as Emmett Kelly, whose Weary Willy character added some levity to the hardships suffered by so many at the time. Bozo the Clown, in the late 1950s, paved the way for the current children's-based or birthday clowns of today. Some people have fears of clowns, called cholerophobia. The introduction into popular culture of the evil clown character of the 1980s did not help this much. Mary Neville of Waite Park assembled our clown collection, numbering in the hundreds of pieces, from about 1980 through the early 2000s. Mary worked as a nurse in the St. Cloud VA for many years. To her, the clown became a symbol of hope and love. She referred to them as her RX Clown, prescription for healthy living. She donated the entire collection to the museum in 2003. So this collection meant a lot to Mrs. Neville. It meant enough to her where she decided to donate it in its entirety to the Stearns History Museum to share with others. Um, up to this point, we haven't had a, t a chance to, to uh, display it in its entirety, which is why we, we thought that we would uh, bring some of it out to share with you today. Thank you. 